Homestuck 2 is coming back from a two-month hiatus, so let's get a little refresher on what happened. Describing everything in one paragraph per chapter. For the most part. Chapter 8 was a doozy. Let's get started. Prologue. Dirk Strider is evil now, much to the confusion of those who didn't read the epilogues. And even confusing for some who did read the epilogues. He has control over the narrative and travels across meat space with Terezi Pyrope and the robotic incarnation of his ectobiological daughter, Rose Lalonde, in search of a new planet to play Spurb on. Despite the odds, they find one. Chapter 1. Meanwhile, in Candyverse, Jake English takes an alcohol-induced snooze to forget that his version of Jane Crocker is inexplicably a villain now, and reunites with Dream Ghost Dirk after 20 years' absence. This is extra disturbing considering Candy Dirk has been dead for 16 years. Brain Ghost Dirk convinces Jake to go back to his abusive wife to act as a spy for the Resistance, Turns out Jane never knew he left her, and she cries that the Resistance has kidnapped their son, which is false on multiple accounts. Chapter 2 You see, a little earlier, Vriska Surket recently spit out of the dream bubbles, and her descendant, Vrissy Mariam Lalonde, redefined the word body pillow because Vriska murdered Gamzee. Normally, this would cause nothing but joy, except for the fact that Gamzee was Jane's kismesis and a religious figurehead. So they've got to hide the body before there's an international incident. Frissy's hate boyfriend, Tavros Crocker English, is more than happy to give them a lift to the high school of Frissy's other boyfriend, Harry Anderson Egbert, who says he has a plan. It's just too bad Harry Anderson can't tell when his girlfriend is being serious. That beautiful idiot. Chapter 3 Back in Meat Space, we hit the intersectional jackpot as we have a spaceship with a trans man, an intersex dog girl possessed by a dead calliope, an alive non-binary calliope who's an avid social distancer, an alien lesbian wearing a chador, simultaneously showing just how much and just how little the Homestuck 2 team knows about Islamic tradition in Afghanistan, and two boyfriends who wear socks to bed. Too bad Kanaya's sad, but at least there's pancakes. Chapter 4, Dirk and Rosebot are suckers for philosophy, so they make their base in a cave on the newly named planet Deltritus. This father-daughter duo decide to play a competitive game of Spore to determine whose species becomes the Spurb player species. Terezi, the blind troll, decides to explore the alien landscape. Chapter 5. Did you want Rose Rezzy? No? Too bad, chumps. Chapter 6. Dead Tear Calliope likes pulpy orange juice and says that she can only possess Jade for some reason. She proceeds to call Jade a slut, so Jade threatens to eat chocolate until Calliope Fs off. And now, let us take a moment to appreciate the first sound page of Homestuck 2. And that concludes the first sound page of Homestuck 2. Chapter 7! Back in Candyverse, we avoid making a joke about closets just long enough for Team Candy Kids to take this party over to Harry Anderson's, ditching Gamzee's body in the process. Meanwhile, Car Cat, Big Boss Vantus, and an alive Mina Pesces look over the chaos of the battlefield, and the chaos of Troll Twitter as they find out that Friska is screwing things up again. Harry Anderson comes home in time to see his mom and dad having their first heart-to-heart -heart since he was conceived, and manages to get both to leave the house in order for his friends to sneak inside his bastion of theater kingdom. Also, John Egbert cannot be happier to be plot-relevant again. Chapter 8 Jane plays the pronoun game and decides to seek revenge against the Resistance through kidnapping. Surprise, surprise, Vriska thinks the candy kids suck, and Vrissy wants Vriska Senpai to acknowledge her. The kids get way in over their heads as Vriska physically attacks both the media and Jane's assassins in one terribly paced word dump in order for the kids to escape to the bell tower, where they meet up with Kanaya, Rose, Jade, and John in a crop top. 
Jade and Rose reveal that in a long string of terrible decisions, Jade had the balls to have Rose be the surrogate mother for their secret Helltaker OC, who's named something that makes her very difficult to Google search, so they'll probably change her name soon. And Rose had the metaphorical balls not to tell Kanaya anything. Kanaya hides her rage under a layer of ice, so cold it makes the Antarctic look like a tropical jungle. Don't know why she's so mad. This is the closest Candy Rose has gotten to her original characterization. Chapter 9! Jane struggles with writing a eulogy for her kismesis, and Jake can't tell the difference between cultural discrimination and racism. Jane has dog slash kidnapped Yiffy Hardly Lalonde in revenge and put a shock collar on her for maximum <clears throat> shock value. The other candy kids have hilarious pester chum handles and they don't give a crap that Dave is missing. And chapter 10, back in meat space, Terezi wakes up to reveal that Deltritus has native non-sentient Ents. And new invasive monstrosities. Apparently Rose was having too much fun creating these blurst creatures, that Dirk feels the need to destroy everything and start again. The fact that Dirk might just flood the planet to destroy undesirables is ironic for Homestuck reasons and theological reasons. And that's what happened last time in Homestuck 2! Hey there! Consider becoming a patron, just like the phenomenal Bleed Red, Alexander Madeline, Uranium Coffee, and Ryan Nelson.